welcome to our latest blog video. Uh, today we're going to try and implement something that we discussed in a previous video. If you haven't watched the one where we discuss flighting irons, I recommend you do that now and then come back to this one. In that video we talked about how you're not trying to get the leading edge of the club under the ball and lift the ball into the air. It's actually the grooves and the ball getting stuck in those grooves that are going to generate spin which creates lift and gives us that height. So the more we try and lift the ball, the more likely we are to actually make a mistake, take spin away. Even if we hit it well, it's not going to go that far. What we're more likely to do, if anything, is to top the ball. So if I've been playing golf for years, or even decades in some cases, and I've been trying to lift, that means I've written this pattern in my brain, this, this muscle memory of trying to lift. And just understanding is maybe not enough to get me there. And we talked in that video about how that's really the result of wanting to get the ball airborne. I want to, I'm so desperate to get the ball in the air that I'm gonna try and lift it. Let's maybe go the other way with that. Let's say I'm gonna actively try and hit it as low as I possibly can. Now, that might sound funny, but if I try to hit it as low as I possibly can, I'm no longer fixated on height, and that's really where we get into trouble. So, I have a wedge in my hand for this shot here. If I try to hit it as low as I can, my wedge has plenty of loft, I'm gonna generate plenty of spin, there's no way it's actually going to go low. So by actively trying to do it, I'm more likely to hit a good shot and get away from that old pattern. So that plays just fine, went nice and high, took a nice, just a nice little shallow divot. For me, that's perfect. Um, some of you might take larger divots, that's fine. But I hit down through that ball, there was no upward motion through that, and I'm safely in play over that water hazard. Uh, give it a try. Like I said, actively try and hit it as low as possible. You'd be surprised what happens to your ball flight. If you have any questions, be sure to write me. I'll be happy to follow up with you.